coming up on this week's episode. Auburn places students through Delta Partnership. Able Flight announces scholarship class of 2022. National Aviation Academy boasts 95% placement rate. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Auburn places students through Delta Partnership. Auburn University has announced the successful acceptance of 20 of its graduates to Delta Airlines as a part of the professional pilot pipeline offered through a joint educational program promoted at the school. They have been added to the company through the airline's Delta Propel program, a quote, highly selective program which provides participants a qualified job offer detailing a defined career path, allowing Auburn students to participate in an accelerated timeline to become a Delta pilot, end quote. Similar to other cadet programs that promise career benefits and boons to those who sign on the dotted line with the carrier early in their career, Propel aims to bolster Delta's flow of new pilots by calling dibs early in their career. Auburn is one of only 14 universities included in the program, allowing students from their aviation program to enter the pipeline that eventually lands them in the right seat. Anna Franco Watkins, interim dean, said the relationship has been a rewarding one for all involved. The Delta Airlines Foundation has also worked with others to grant $6.2 million to support the construction of an aviation education building that now serves as the home base for all things flight-related at the school. Coming up after the break, Canadian ULCC signs training deal with CAE. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Canadian ULCC signs training deal with CAE. Canada Jetlines is the country's newest addition to the airline ecosystem, beginning operations as Canada's equivalent ultra-low-cost carrier in the vein of Ryanair and EasyJet. So far, their growth has been progressing as expected, with recent changes to their training regimen for company pilots. They have now signed an exclusive five-year training agreement with CAE for training on the CAE 7000XR Airbus A320 Full Flight Simulator at the Educators Montreal Training Center. AeroGuard receives FAA Diamond Award. AeroGuard Flight Training Center has been given the AMT Diamond Award program for 2021. Their win of the FAA Award of Excellence recognizes its devotion to aircraft maintenance, safety, and regulatory compliance. In the post-pandemic recovery era, AeroGuard points to their efforts at scaling up and expanding student loads while maintaining the same level of safety. The Diamond Award requires that 100% of all mechanics, repair staff, and technicians earn an AMT Certificate of Training in 2021. Fellowship Award winners to be recognized at CSF meeting. The Commercial Space Flight Federation and Patty Grace Smith Fellowship Program announced the expansion of a program to bring three students to Washington, D.C. in order for them to participate in the 24th Commercial Space Transportation Conference. The fellowship bears the name of Smith, a trailblazer for women like her, who passed away in 2016 after a long career in expanding access to aviation by, quote, encouraging young women of color to pursue aerospace and STEM careers, end quote. Elixir delivers first plane to French Flight Club. Aero Club de Pertuis in La Rochelle, France has taken delivery of the first Elixir aircraft, intended for use as a general purpose trainer, rental, and leisure aircraft. The Elixir is a low-wing, light aircraft with seating for two, with fixed tricycle landing gear, a ballistic parachute, and a Rotax 912 IS powering a three-blade MT propeller. 
Elixir states a TCO in the range of $37 per hour, owing to the plain simplified composite manufacture. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Able Flight announces scholarship class of 2022. Able Flight, a 501c3 organization devoted to expanding flight experience and aviation career training to people with disabilities, has announced a 2022 batch of scholarship recipients. This year's group includes two veterans, a first for the program. All six recipients use wheelchairs due to accident, illness, or combat injury. Before they report for the flight portion of their training, they will attend online ground school made available by Sporty's Pilot Shop, as well as live remote instruction from Purdue. Once complete with their ground school, they'll head to Purdue University in late May, ahead of seven weeks of flight training for their check rides in July. Their instructors will be drawn from upperclassmen and graduate students from Purdue. The class of 2022 marks the 12th year of working with Able Flight, building on their history of accommodation and specialization to provide the kind of flight training needed to address specific needs of disabled pilots. Purdue owns three specialized Sky Arrow L600s, modified to be compatible with disabled pilots in order to obtain their pilot certificates. The school has expanded their fleet to three such aircraft in total, thanks to the efforts of donors and alumni to bring opportunity to those who are so often left behind by foot-controlled aircraft. After these messages, National Aviation Academy boasts 95% placement rate. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the Record Out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Welcome back. National Aviation Academy boasts 95% placement rate. The National Aviation Academy has now received some good news for its past, present, and future aviation maintenance students after its accreditor found a placement rate of 95% for alumni. The Academy has been in the business of teaching A&P technicians since 1932, boasting campuses in Florida and Massachusetts. Aviation maintenance is always in demand, a vital portion of keeping the economy alive, if and under someone. The industry faces a shortfall of students after the 2020 pandemic slump as enrollment of new students flagged amidst lockdowns and economic uncertainty. In terms of employment security, few industries boast as great a need for new blood as aviation, as evidenced by pipeline estimates of nearly 740,000 new techs over the preceding two decades. Prior to the pandemic, the Aviation Technician Education Council's estimates show that the annual output of new mechanics would have to be increased by 37% to meet 20-year demand, and that was before two consecutive years of diminished output. That supply shortfall is wonderful news for students and A&Ps, meaning their value has increased across the board. Well, that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.